Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on shell programming. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to use arrays in program. So in order to demonstrate, we have already logged into the terminal. It's a Unix terminal and we are at the location Unix shell programming and we have created one file and its name is arrays and we'll shortly see what it contains but before going to jump into that let's understand some basic concept scalar and array variables so array is actually a variable which holds the values then what is the difference between scalar and array variables scalar variables uh, these are the shell variables which are capable capable for storing only one value at a time while the arrays holds multiple values and there is no limit so you can means of course there is a memory related limit but there is for array as such there is no specific limit so you can keep or you can hold as many variables as you want but for the better performance of your application make sure you are using optimum number of variables in a array how to define array so before going to define array we should know how to define the scalar variables for example in this case country 1 equal to India country 2 equal to Germany country 3 equal to United States of America so these are the nothing but the examples of variable so country 1 variable holds only one value India country 2 variable holds value Germany country 3 variable holds United States of America while the America uh, while the array variable the syntax is very simple array underscore name you can give any name instead of this array underscore name then you have to define the index like 0th element first element second element etc and then you have to use the equal to sign and then you have to define the value the example here is country 0th so 0th element is India first element is Germany second element is United States United States of America so if you notice here the array always start with the index 0 and that will be the value very first value will be stored in the array now we know this syntax for the KSH and bash is little bit different for KSH you have to use the set key hyphen a array name value 1 value 2 till value n you can store n number of values for bash shell you have to define array name equal to and then you have to define the values from value 1 to value n in the bracket so there are different syntax per your command or per your shell now you define assume you define the array and you want to access the values from that array how to access it we know the syntax of getting array is dollar curly open curly bracket the name of array and which element you want to retrieve that in the rectangular bracket and then the curly bracket close so this is the syntax to retrieve or to access the values stored in the array so this is the script here we have the hash exclamatory mark bin sh then we are defining one array with zero the name of array is country and zeroth ele element is india first element is germany second element is united states states of the america the united states of america here we are just doing echo to print the values on the console echo country one then dollar sign open curly bracket country rectangular open bracket then zeroth element rectangle bracket close and the curly bracket close etc on the same line we are printing the country 2 which is retrieving from the element 1 if you want to print all the values from the array you can just use the dollar sign curly bracket oh, curly bracket open curly bracket country and in the rectangle bracket you have to just mention the asterisk sign 
the other way you you can do the equal so for all countries here instead of the asterisk you have to use the at symbol so it will the it will do the same thing as like asterisk so this is very simple and straight way of defining array so let's have some practice on that so in order to demonstrate you we have created uh, arrays class so let's view the array using the i command so if you see we have defined the country as a array with with the zeroth element as a india first element as a germany second ele element as a united states of america and in order to print we are just using echo command country one then we are using dollar sign open curly bracket country open curly bracket open rectangle bracket zeroth element rectangle bracket close and curly bracket also close on the same line we are printing the country and to, to print all the variables stored in this country array we are using asterisk sign or at symbol so let's do let's print this so in order to just execute use the sh and array command now you can see the country one we are just did echo india is printing country two is printing as a germany and if you want to print all the countries all countries and this dollar sign curly bracket countries rectangle bracket open and the asterisk sign rectangle and curly bracket close subsequently we use that command it is printing india germany united states of the america on the same line all countries also option to with the at symbol using it prints all the values we can do the one more example let's create one file using vi arrays to dot sh or i have i will show you one more option instead of writing whole thing again you can just use copy command cp arrays and i will type arrays to dot sh so it will copy arrays file into arrays to dot sh if you do the ls minus ltr it will generate one more file in order to open this file you can use vi arrays to and it will open us so what i'll do i will use the escape button i it will take me to the insert mode and we can write some more code here for testing for example let's write one country variable which is a simple scalar variable and i will give my country as a variable name and let's echo here if you notice i just give the duplicate variable one is scalar variable and one is array variable and i'll just print my country and here i'll just use dollar country and let's see what it prints whether this will accept uh, or it will complain or it will just print it so let's see in order to say that just use wq and the file will save now i will execute it using dot sh command and now you can see it doesn't matter whether you assign the value or not so first it is just printing my country that's correct because that is the value we have assigned and then it again uses the scalar or array variable the same variable we have defined so it doesn't matter you have defined the same variable or not it will take the current value in that object so you can define the same variable name also it will not just complain so at this moment there these are the acting as a two different variables one is scalar variable and the other is a array variable the uh, i hope uh, this tutorial is going to help you to define the array in your shell programming if you have opportunity or if you want to do practice on this unix environment just let me know i will be more than happy to assist you in doing the practice on the unix environment thank you for watching my video if you have any questions or queries you can mention in the comment section of this video.
do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about the Unix technology. You will find my details, uh, the Facebook and Twitter details in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and have a nice time.